Hey guys, how's it going today? So, uh, me and Eric got to talking about uh, the forest fires that are happening in BC, and, um, and he had world. some really yes, he had some really good um, uh, information that I thought would be a good idea to share. So, um, what do you have to share with uh, uh, my friends? On well, apparently, team? according to everything I'm seeing on Facebook, it's uh, it's Fire Week in Canada this week. I just read about a new one that cropped up on the Manitoba Ontario border. There's something like ten thousand hectares burning along that way. They've started evacuating, you know, five or ten thousand people. I think is what I saw. Um, there's obviously the one at Fort Mac that's all over national news and social media everywhere. There's huge, 80, huge fire. 80,000 people they've evacuated. Um, I've seen things about people refusing to leave because they just they don't trust people not to steal their stuff, or I don't know, they don't think or, it's yeah, a problem. Or, yeah, it's their, their home, they're trying to fight um, off the fire and stuff like that, so... There's been an outpouring of support, though. Um, from what I heard, just in the last three days alone since the fire actually hit in Fort McMurray, um, we've raised... $30 million worth of donations Canada-wide for the Red Cross. Amazing. And, um, Amazing. Our, our government here in Canada says they're going to match each one of those contributions dollar for dollar. So, I mean... Yeah, I didn't know that. They can, they can say me, what so. they will about Prime Minister Trudeau. I think he's doing a bang-up job so far. And, I mean, every little bit helps. I mean, if anything, he's trying to incentivize us to help out. Because yeah. he's matching everything we've got. We've got nobody to blame but ourselves when there's only a handful of dollars that go to the Red Cross. Bingo. Um... Just yesterday, Thursday, um, alone, there was over 100,000 mm -hmm. separate personal donations that came into the Red Cross just for the day alone. Mm -hmm. um, I heard that in Saskatchewan, they did a drive for Fort McMurray, and they raised $740,000 over the course of a day to go and uh, to send over there. Which is amazing. Um, there's convoys of people heading up from Edmonton and Calgary, taking um, like jerry cans full of gas, diapers, water, all sorts of stuff. He said anyone that might be in need stranded on the side of the road, just throw a, a sock or something on your antenna and we'll get to you if we can, kind of thing. Um, all the fires that have been cropping up in Canada seem like they've all been, been human related. Like there hasn't been any any reports of lightning strikes other than here, maybe once or twice here or there. Yeah, l um, like the one that I told you guys in my last video, um, there was uh, thunder, thunder showers, and um, it seemed like that uh, there was no fire because of the showers. So it's uh, yeah, the one for sure that I found, and there may be another one that uh, it may be the same one, but yeah, um, <clears throat> most of them are, probably cigarette butts, campfires. Along with the outpouring of Burning. support for people donating to the Red Cross, uh, one of the local DJ companies here is, is bandying about the idea of putting on a show to raise a fundraiser and try and send some money oh, over to the Red cool. Cross. Uh, it's <clears throat> our friend Morgan. Um, I forget what the name of his his company here in the town is. Okay. Also, uh, one of the local realtors, Mitch Collins, had put a post up for uh, a bunch of the vacant... <laughs> Um, like townhouses and condos and apartments and stuff that he had. Yeah. Up. He said anyone that's displaced in Fort Mac, this is get a hold of me between me and some of the other rental agencies here in town that have vacancies as we can we can see you put up and you know could have roof over your head. Yeah. Um, and there's I, also some people opening up their farms too for people that yeah, also for people need their pastures. Yeah, for uh, their livestock. That's local. Um, yeah, that's in Fort St. John or you know the outskirts of Fort St. John. I'm not, I'm not too terribly sure. Where, but I yeah. also read that um, anyone who has a Ford vehicle from Fort Mac has a 90-day grace period where they don't have to make any payments on their loans because, obviously, they're decent people for once. Um, West Jet's been flying people in and out for pennies, if they're even charging anything at all. I, there was actually a picture I saw where they're letting people take their dogs on the plane, too. That's really cool. Because everyone realizes the pets are family, too. What? Um, yes. People are going through Fort Mac right now, collecting <clears throat> all the animals and stuff they can find, getting them to shelters, and you know, trying to get them reunited. There's rabbits, there's guinea pigs, there's dogs, cats, and most of them look just terrified, mm -hmm. just terrified. Well, they don't understand um, what really is going on. I've been so. glued to Facebook the last few days because there's a lot of fires burning in the our home area here. Like we're we're in northern BC, and there is what is it? There's 40 active wildfires in BC right now, in in northern BC, and there. are pretty much all right here in the Peace River Regional District. Yeah. Um, people tossing cigarette butts, people doing, you know, not so controlled burns that got away from them for their far farmers burning their land. Yeah. Um, it's been really dry. We had a really, really mild winter. It melted out on us twice. There's not a lot of water kicking around here. It's really, it's really dry. Yeah. And, and it's been really, really warm too. Windy. So. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a hell of a shit show here. Um, the one out in the, they've called it the, the Beaton Airport Road yep. fire. Yeah. Um, it joined up with one of the other fires that's burning out there. There's over 12,000 hectares on fire. 
Uh, they've evacuated 6,000 people from out that way. Um, yeah. My mother-in-law being one of them on the edge of things. Yeah. Yeah, she's um, not too far from that uh, Shepherd's Inn. Yeah, which apparently which is, is okay. Mile 72. Um, we just read that they've rescinded the evacuation order out that way, so... Yes, actually. I mean, good for them. Um, as of 8, uh, 18 p.m. Uh, today, uh, Mile... May say sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Evacuation order rescinded. Mile eighty of the Alaska Highway area, Stuart. So Starter Road. Creek Road, and yeah. Shepherd's Inn area. Um, they've got it all under control out there. They said it was eighty five percent contained. Um, they've got one hundred and twelve firefighters on the ground. There's nine choppers and twelve pieces of heavy equipment that they sent out there to throw everything they can because that's the one that's most likely endangering Fort Saint John. It's only fifty kilometers to the west of us here. Um, the other one, which is actually twice the size, just about, it's actually, it, it was 9,000 hectares last night out at, um, what's called Siphon Creek, and just today it's gone up to 17,000 hectares, so it's almost doubled in size. There's only a dozen people or so they've evacuated out there, because out there it's mostly ranchers and just open crown land for the most part. Um, it is really starting to encroach on the Doig River First Nations Reserve out there. Mm -hmm. Which also some people did get evacuated out of the Doig. They've evacuated everyone from the Doig, yeah. which they're they're set up here. Um, we've got a new fire hall here that's set up for an emergency situation. Yeah, talk about like good this. timing, right? It's really good timing. They just finished <laughs> building it about a year ago. We've got lots of hardworking crews. Um, the Burger King that just opened here in town is saying they're giving all the firefighters that are on emergency crews 25% off their meals. If that's right. I did duty. see that on Facebook. That's um, right. Um... I mean, everyone's just throwing everything they've got at trying to keep things contained around There's here, also people the buying water, too, for the firefighters and stuff like that. Yeah, people taking fire out, or water out for the firefighters, and, yeah. and like we're, we're all pulling together here to do what we can. I mean, there was a, a group, or a, a gentleman here on Facebook who was basically trying to mobilize a few people, to just us regular, everyday Joes, to go out and do what we can, try and build a fire break, or rake some stuff around, you know, just do, do what we can. I mean, we're all in this together here, I mean... One part of the town burns, the rest of it goes mm. shortly afterwards. Exactly. So we've got to band together, which, in true Canadian spirit here, it's, it's what we're taking care of here all across the country. I mean, we're we're all pulling together for Fort Mac. We're all pulling together to yeah. get the peace region on the uh, back into control here. Which um, is the reason why I'm making these videos for you guys, so you actually are informed of what's happening um, locally in Fort St. John and what we've been hearing, uh, stuff that you may not have heard yet or what you haven't seen on yeah, Facebook or online. As far as I know, so, up to Claremont is still on an evacuation order. The only one they've rescinded is for Shepherd's Inn. Yeah. I don't know if it's... I'm assuming we're all still on alert right yeah. to the edge of town here for, just to be on safe safe. As far know. as I know, um, there's a fire that's less than a kilometer away from Shepherd's Inn um, as of uh, right now. So, like, Shepherd's Inn uh, should be fine um, yeah, unless the, like the winds pick up. South. Yeah, unless the winds uh, pick up. Uh, you said the wind. Uh, the winds are going what? They're uh, headed southwest, southwest, so they're kind of blowing so, back towards Hudson's Hope and, and so, area. Yeah, so it's careful, all, it's guys. All down that way. But if you're in Hudson Hope, Chetwin, please be careful and yeah. start talking about it with your families if you haven't already. We've even still got stuff here in town. They're saying like you know, just in case, make sure you've got all your stuff <clears> packed <throat> into your vehicle in case things go down. Yeah, exactly. I mean, be ready to go. Yeah. At a moment's notice, if shit hits yeah. the fan, so to speak, because. Fire drills, man. Remember those in elementary schools? They come in handy. Speaking of elementary schools, there was uh, an article I read. One of the principals in Fort Mac loaded all the kids on school onto a bus and started evacuating to the nearest center. And then she kept basically having to leapfrog through the different evacuation sites, leaving a trail of sticky notes as she went so that the parents could catch up to their children. <laughs> so she said, like, you know, it's... Every time we get to a site, it's, oh, no, this is, the fire's moving this way, we got to keep on going, yeah. so there's another sticky note on the wall, hey, parents, we're off to this one, we're off to this one, and apparently, you know, they got everyone all lined up and safe, but um, there's been no fatalities anywhere from the Fort Mac fires, from any of the fires around here. I thought there was a couple, there was a... Uh, there was a young lady who passed away, because there was an accident that yeah, we had heard, accident. but that's not actually, she didn't die in the fire, so they don't, they're not calling... Well, you, we could still talk about it. Yeah, um, apparently she and, if I remember, I could be horribly misquoting this, but if I remember correctly, it was she and an auntie had left, and they wound up getting into a collision with a semi-trailer, a tractor trailer coming up the highway. Ouch. Um, she was one of a set of triplets, I'm sure, if you do some digging online. I think it was Global Beast, or Global Global Canada, Global News, on Facebook that had the site. I mean, it's out there. I'm sure you can find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Google, but, like I said in my last video, Google's a perfect I search mean, engine. Perfect. They're already hiring people to go and clean up Fort Mac. 
from what I saw. They're offering, I think it was 14 to 14, 16 an hour, yeah. 10 to 12 hour days, 14 on, 7 off, and... I mean, based on your experience, I mean, you could be in there sweeping out homes or you could be right in there, yeah. I mean, re relaying their flooring or whatever it is they need to do to get yeah. Fort Mac up and running again. I mean, I know Alberta's pulling together. The Premier of Saskatchewan actually beat out the Premier of Alberta. Uh, he was one of the first people to actually mention, yeah, hey, we're here to help, so tell us what you need to do. Um, I know our Siphon Creek fire had crossed over the Alberta border up north here, but um, I had heard that the BC Wild Fire Service in conjunction with the Alberta Wildfire Service, um, had said that we would take responsibility for the one that's burning off north of us here so that they can devote all their efforts to getting Fort Mac contained and safe. Yeah. So, um... It's about the extent of my, uh... Wow. Wow, guys, hey? He's like a search engine all by himself. I give him high fives. Round of applause. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> he has a lot of information, and I'm very thankful for him to be on uh, the Adventures of CC today. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, what uh, he had to share and the little tidbits that I had to kind of help him as well. So, um, yeah. Stop throwing your cigarette butts out the window. Yeah, not cool, guys. Not cool. Don't burn nothing when it's hot and dry outside. Not like, cool. We should all know this. It, yes. it, winter's over. We're adults this now. This is prime time wildfire season. <laughs> no weird river parties. Keep your clothes on, people. No fires. <laughs> well, come on. Just a little bit of nakedness. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, why? Well, <laughs> in your tents, I guess. I mean, you want to go street. Talking about guess, this so. prude, right? <laughs> Don't make me bust the nipples out. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I hope everybody is going to keep safe. Um, keep it forward with your families and your local community. Um, also, uh, take a, a proper fire uh, precautions um, so uh, that you may not uh, start a fire yourself by keep copies. on accident or what have you. Keep digital copies of all your important pictures. Like yes. if, if you have the leisure, scan every photo you have and keep it on a thumb drive. Yep. Or on a, a an external hard drive, a terabyte somewhere, yep. or whatever. Keep your stuff so that it's just one thing to grab on the way out the yep. door. You don't have to exactly. agonize. Exactly. Um, clothing for three, four days, toiletries, first aid kit. Always a first aid kit. Blankets. Blankets. I mean, yeah. Prepare yourself for a week long camping trip. Yeah, camping trip. That basically. you might not come back to home from at the end of. Yeah. So. Maybe some Ambien and help you get to sleep. <laughs> Stay safe, people. All right. No more ditching butts. All right. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Bye. Nice to meet everyone.